sleeping sickness, probably a disease that most parents believe their teenagers, or perhaps even some of you, have today. However, I am here today to talk to you about a far more serious disease. African sleeping sickness is considered to be 100% fatal if left untreated. Millions of people are at risk from this disease every single day. Patients will experience a wide range of symptoms. As the disease progresses, they will slip into a coma and eventually pass away. And this is where our real issues start. The current treatments that we have are far from ideal. They have severe side effects associated with their use. They can lead to long-term health issues, such as the development of diabetes. Some of these treatments can even result in the death of patients. And with no new treatments having been brought to market in the last 15 years, we are rapidly running out of options. But, as you can see, we can make a difference. In the early 1960s, sleeping sickness was all but eradicated from Africa. However, due to local conflict and the relaxation of control measures, we've seen a resurgence in the number of cases. So, what is it that we're going to do? Well, recently we screened 87,000 compounds as potential inhibitors, or drugs, for African sleeping sickness. This has given us six compounds that we're currently working with. So how do you do that? Well, think about a jigsaw puzzle. So our compounds can be broken down into smaller pieces. And our job is to find the way in which to fit these pieces together to get the best possible drug. And already, we've had some success. We have compounds that fit together well, but we're still looking to see if we can identify an even better fit. And with everyone working together, guided by groups such as the World Health Organization and the Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative, we have a real chance to eliminate sleeping sickness from our planet, saving tens of thousands of lives every year in the process. Thank you.